Justice 3 Ghost came to reclaim the life of Ebenezer Scrooge in A Christmas Carol. Three adaptations of Charles Dickens' beloved holiday story are coming to local stages this year. The Nash Arts Center continues its tradition of ever-changing adaptations. St. Paul United Methodist Church offers a production that sees the story from the view of Scrooge's ghostly late partner Jacob Marley, and the Tar River Players offer a more traditional performance. At Nash Arts, much of the show rests on songs written over the last year, especially for the production. We, last year, we had for the first time, we had 12 original songs that were written by uh, a local artist by the name of Jim Lee. Mm -hmm. And uh, during the course of the run, we talked about a, a lot of different things, and he came up with two more. So this year, we have 14 original songs that are absolutely gorgeous. Mm -hmm. They're wonderful bits of music. Mm -hmm. Based on an adaptation by Tom Mueller, the small cast play at St. Paul offers more than the traditional Christmas message. Um, in our version, we follow Jacob Marley's story instead of Scrooge's story. So, of course, they intersect and overlap and become the same. But uh, it starts with Jacob Marley discovering that he's in hell and he didn't want to stay there. So he is given the task of going back and redeeming Scrooge. A twist to the production at St. Paul is the playwright's introduction of a new character, the Bogle, who plays a key role and who Ricketts described as having a Robin Williams-style persona. Meanwhile, in Tarboro, the Tar River players have brought together a large diverse cast for a traditional performance. There are uh, some ECC students, there are children from all over the community, some have been in plays with us before, there are adults who are members of the troupe, Tar River's Tar River players, and there are other adults that are joining us for the first time. I was a boy here. Your lip is trembling, and what does that up on your cheek? Opening night is coming soon for the productions. St. Paul will offer one weekend of shows, while Nash Arts and the players will offer two. For The Telegram, this is Ross Chandler.